Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash, blow dry, and straighten my hair to get an at-home silk press. Um, I'm just starting off by showing you guys how disgusting my hair was. Um, it was super oily. I had it straightened for a couple of days now, so it was time for a wash. So I'm starting off with the Head & Shoulders Charcoal Detox Shampoo. I like to use this shampoo whenever my hair is super nasty because it gets all the gunk and oil and dirt off of my scalp and it makes my hair feel super clean. Um, I do use another shampoo after this because this shampoo does feel like it strips my hair after I use it. So I like to use a shampoo that's moisturizing and going to make my curls come back to life even though I'm going to be straightening my hair. But I do like to use another shampoo after this so you guys will see that in a second. Oh, and before anybody says anything, yes, I do wash my hair in the kitchen sink. I grew up getting my hair washed in the kitchen sink, and I'm going to keep washing my hair in the kitchen sink. I don't see anything wrong with it. A lot of people don't see anything wrong with it, but somebody is going to be like, ew, she washes her hair in the kitchen sink, so don't say anything. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm using the Kristen S Curl Shampoo. I love this shampoo. I love the scent of it. Um, I started using this because I saw someone recommend it and I decided to try it and I fell in love with the shampoo and the conditioner. But yeah, I'm just going to take a good amount of that and then wash my hair. This is just to moisturize it, not really to clean it because I scrubbed my hair really good with the Head & Shoulders Shampoo. So yeah, I'm just going through and washing my hair just a little bit with it. And also if you notice a big patch of hair missing at the back of my head it's because um i don't know i struggle with growing the nape area of my hair out and i actually broke it off because i do wear wigs a lot and the wig caps are like always tight at the back so they broke the hair off so me being me i decided to just shave it off like literally shave it off with a razor so now it's growing once again all right so now you see me um i'm about to apply the conditioner this is the Kristen S conditioner that goes with the shampoo. This conditioner is literally the best conditioner I've ever used. Honestly, this is the reason that my hair shines as much as it does whenever I straighten it. Um, I tried to use another conditioner one time and then I noticed that my hair wasn't shining and I'm like, oh my God, it has to be the conditioner. So now I'm just like stuck on this conditioner. Anytime I straighten my hair or anything, I have to use this conditioner. So. If you guys want your hair to shine and be super soft and it smells amazing, go to Target and buy you some. I don't know where else you can buy it from. I get mine from Target. It's amazing. It's kind of expensive. It's like $12 for this little bottle. And you know, in natural hair, you use a lot of conditioner. So beware. You might have to buy two or three bottles. But yeah, I'm just going to work it through my hair. And um, I'm struggling working it through my hair because my hair is kind of thick. And yeah, so... I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna rinse it and then come back. Okay, so right here, I just got done putting my conditioner in and I'm showing y'all my heat damage. I do have heat damage and I don't care because I don't really, I, I don't wear my curls honestly ever. Either my hair is straight or it's under a wig. So I don't really care about heat damage. But now I'm just going to go through and brush my hair to kind of distribute the conditioner some more because I probably missed so many spots because like I said, it's kind of hard for me to put conditioner through my hair. So after that, I'm going to rinse it, I believe, and then I'm going to come back and section my hair off and detangle it and then start the blow drying process. I'm just going to let you guys watch me do all of that, and then I'll probably come back whenever I'm straightening my hair. Straightening. Straightening? Straightening my hair. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll come back whenever I'm doing that, and then it'll probably be the end of the video. Oh, my God. 
So the next product I'm applying in my hair is the John Frida Frizzies Serum. Um, it helps with frizz, obviously it's in the name. Um, your hair has to be wet, like dripping wet for it to work right and not weigh your hair down. So I take about two pumps at first and then spread that out and do like one more pump. Um, you have to really be careful with this stuff because it's easy to overdo it and when you go to straighten your hair it's going to be like super stiff and weigh down. So you just want to be careful with it. I try to get it. It's distribute it as I can with those two or three little pumps so that I don't overdo it and have to restart all the way over because I hate when my hair is stiff so I just do that and spread it out Okay, this is literally the longest process ever so after I detangle my hair it's time to blow dry and this right here this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant it's that girl this is what really keeps my hair from getting frizzy along with the um, John Frieda serum so I like literally drench my hair in this stuff because I, I can't do frizzy hair I just can't and ever since I started using this my hair doesn't get frizzy but before I started using it my hair will get frizzy the instant I walked outside so yeah I just spray that in and I'm using this Revlon I believe it's Revlon hair dryer I got it today it works amazing so I'll link it below for you guys if you guys want to buy it or try it whatever so yeah I'm just gonna go through my whole head and blow dry 
section by section also I do do um, about four or five sections on each side to make sure I'm really getting my hair as straight as possible with the dryer and getting down to the roots so I'm just gonna blow dry and then we'll move on to straightening Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and let y'all know that if someone straightening the same strand of hair more than once bothers you, you're about to be bothered because I do go over the same strand a couple times. I tried to edit it out as much as I could because I know some people are gonna be like grinding their teeth when they see me go over one strand 10 times. But yeah, I do. Because like I said, I don't really care about heat damage. Um, so yeah i do go over my strands a couple of times but i'm just doing the chase method to flat iron my hair i'll have my flat iron link below i believe i linked it below in like previous videos but i'll link it below in this one towards the end of this my camera does die so you guys don't get to see me finish my whole head but yeah you get to see most of it i believe it's a really simple process i'm just straightening with the comb so yeah
done. Can you guys see how shiny my hair is? I know y'all see how shiny my hair is. And look at all the body. Look at the body. Look at the body. It looks so good. I can't wait until my hair gets longer, so I just know I'm going to be in love with it. If it gets long enough before I cut it off, but yeah. And I need a trim, but yeah that's it i have everything linked below for you guys so you guys can go um purchase some of the products if you like what they did to my hair maybe they'll work for you hopefully they will work for you but yeah guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe um hope you guys enjoyed this video i decided to switch it up for my regular lace laying content so i try something new maybe y'all like it maybe you don't if you don't please keep your opinion to yourself but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy the rest of me flipping my hair. Bye.